Have you ever wondered what happens to your food after you swallow it? Does it disappear like magic? Or does it go on a secret adventure inside your body? Today, we're going to take a journey into an amazing factory inside you, the digestive system, and discover how it transforms food into energy. By the end of our lesson, you will be able to 1. Identify the parts of the digestive system 2. Describe the function of each part 3. Trace the path of food through the digestive system 5. Create your own model showing the journey of food Before we continue to our lesson proper, let's play two truths and a lie about the digestive system. In each set, two statements are correct and one is false. Can you spot the lie? Before we begin, here are some important words. Ingestion, taking in food through the mouth. Propulsion, moving food along the digestive tract. Digestion, breaking food down into smaller pieces. Absorption, taking nutrients into the blood. Defecation, removing waste from the body. Digestion begins the moment you take a bite of food. Your teeth cut, tear, and grind food into smaller pieces. This is called mechanical digestion. Your saliva, made by the salivary glands, contains enzymes that start breaking down starches into sugars. This is chemical digestion. The tongue helps mix the food with saliva and pushes it toward the back of the mouth to be swallowed. Next stop, the esophagus. This is a muscular tube about 25 centimeters long. It doesn't just let food fall into the stomach. It actively pushes food downward using a wave-like movement called peristalsis. Even if you're upside down, peristalsis still works. In the stomach, powerful muscles churn the food, mixing it with digestive juices and strong acids like hydrochloric acid. This helps break down proteins and kill harmful bacteria. After several hours, the food becomes a soft, thick liquid called chyme. From the stomach, chyme enters the small intestine, a very long but narrow tube, about 6 meters. Here, digestion continues with the help of enzymes from the pancreas and bile from the liver. The small intestine is lined with tiny finger-like shapes called villi, that absorb nutrients into the blood. This is where most of the nutrition from your food is taken in. After the small intestine, any remaining material moves into the large intestine. This part is shorter but wider than the small intestine. Its main job is to absorb water and minerals, turning the leftover material into solid waste called feces. Finally, the waste is stored in the rectum until your body is ready to release it through the anus. This is the last step of the digestive journey. 
Think of your digestive system like a factory assembly line. Each station, the mouth, esophagus, stomach, intestines, rectum, and anus, has a specific job. If one part fails, the whole process slows down or stops, just like in a factory. Now let's answer this. Write your answer in your notebook. Mia ate cake without chewing properly and soon had a stomach ache. Why? Yes, chewing starts the digestion process. Without it, the stomach works harder, making you feel uncomfortable. Today, we learned that digestion is a journey. First, food enters the mouth. Second, it travels through the esophagus. Then, it breaks down in the stomach. Afterwards, nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine. And, water is absorbed in the large intestine. Finally, waste exits the body. Each step is important for keeping us alive and energized. Today, we took an amazing journey inside our own bodies, following food from the very first bite in the mouth, all the way to the last step in the rectum and anus. We learned that each part of the digestive system has an important job, just like workers in a factory. Without teamwork, our bodies wouldn't be able to get the energy and nutrients we need to live and grow. So remember, Take care of your digestive system by eating healthy foods, drinking enough water, and chewing your food well. Because a healthy digestive system means a healthy you. Until next time, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep feeding your mind and your body with knowledge.